We've got a developing story about the Supreme Court weighing in on whether police can secretly place a GPS tracking device on a suspect's car without getting a warrant first. NBC's justice correspondent Pete Williams live at the Supreme Court. So much of technology is raising issues for the, the, the legal profession, and now the Supreme Court has made an important Fourth Amendment ruling. It is important, Chris, because this is one of the court's first decisions on the question of privacy in the digital age. And the Supreme Court has ruled unanimously that the police cannot place a GPS tracking device on a suspect's car without first getting a search warrant. Now, of course, if to get a search warrant, you have to go to a judge, you have to establish probable cause. So that is a big check on the police practice. Now, the court split on why this is true. The majority of the court, five of the justices led by Justice Antonin Scalia, said, your car is your property, period, end of analysis. This First Amendment protects people's homes, affects papers and so forth. That's good enough for the majority of the court. The other four said, well, no, you have to get into the question of reasonable expectation of privacy. Maybe if the police had left it on there for a long time, it would have been different. The reason that's important, Chris, is that the uh, dissenters or the concurrers, I should say here, there are no dissenters, it's a 9-0 decision, but the ones who didn't agree with the court's analysis say people have lots of electronic devices. Your cell phone can tell the police where you are. There are closed circuit cameras all over cities uh, in America uh, that can tell the police who's where at a given time. And we, we have to be careful about where we draw the lines on the protections of the Fourth Amendment against searches and seizures. So it's a, it's a big deal, Chris, because the court has very conservatively said the police have to have a search warrant if they intrude on your private property. Uh, it'll be up to future cases to decide whether that's true of, for example, your cell phone or your iPad or something like that. But at least for now, on one of the first privacy decisions involving a digital device, the court has uh, been quite conservative about privacy protections here. Yeah, fascinating stuff. Uh, Pete, thank you so much. You bet. If